given that 3 to the quarter to the power of n is equal to 27 to the x over 9 to the y, express n in terms of x and y. Right, so in order to do that, we've got to make the base the same on each side. So we're going to make the base uh, for each term to be the same. Now the clue is that's 27, that's 9. They're all powers of 3. And here we've got a 3 on this side. So we'll leave that 3 to the quarter to the n. 27 is 3 cubed. So we've got a 3 cubed in brackets to the power of x. And 9 is 3 squared to the power of y. So that's going to give the a to the m to the n, using this for this one here. a to the m to the n is the same as a to the m n. So we just need to multiply those powers. So that would be 3 to the quarter n. We can do the same here. This will be 3 to the 3x. And the same here. This will be 3 to the 2y. Right. On this here, we're now going to use the idea that a to the m over a to the n is the same as a to the m minus n. So on this side we're still on the same, but here we're going to have 3 to the 3x minus 2y. Now we've both got the same base on each side. We've both got 3 to some power and 3 to some power, which now means the powers have to be the same. So a quarter n must be equal to 3x minus 2y. In order to make n the subject, we will need to multiply by 4. We're going to get that n is equal to 4 brackets. 3x minus 2y. Now, if you put 12x minus 8y, that will still be the okay as well. So, this has been a video to show you how to get a formula from using the rules of indices. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.